us into a group of women. One of the women in the group stayed after and she came up to talk to me and she actually got in my face a little bit and she said, why aren't you going to seminary? There's a great seminary just down the street. You should go. Well, honestly, I had never thought about attending seminary, but her words lit a spark in my heart and, and, and I thought, yes, maybe God wants me to do this. I began to pray and ask him fervently, and, and I talked to my husband, who was very supportive. I sought the counsel of friends. I checked our bank account. I talked to my children. They were in school, and they were all for it. And so I applied, and I was accepted. Going to seminary for me was like taking a trip around the world, except I got to do it every day, and I never experienced jet lag. I loved it. It was right for me in every way. But when I was about halfway through, one day I was home, I think I was sweeping the floor, and I heard the garage door go up. Well, it was a weekday and my husband was at work. Why was he coming home in the middle of the day? Well, he was home because the company had been sold and everybody in the company had been laid off. Huh, what were we going to do? My husband had no job. He put out his resume and after several months he found a great job that he was really excited about, but he was in another city. We would have to move and I would have to give up seminary. I argued with David, but he wouldn't give in. I argued with my friends and they told me I needed to adjust my plans to my husband's plans. I argued with God and there was just silence there. My husband accepted the job and we made plans to move. I remember driving home from class, from seminary, near the end of that semester, realizing I wouldn't have the opportunity to go back and I cried out to God in anger and frustration. Why did you put this dream in my heart and make it possible for me to do this and then withdraw the hope? I sense God saying, do you trust me? Will you put your security in me instead of these other things? I realized that I was still wrapped up in earning God's approval and maybe seminary was a part of that. I was still performing to prove my value to God. It was true. I didn't sense my security in Him. And so I let the seminary dream die. Well, by the time I arrived home, I had stopped fighting. I changed my attitude. My husband was delighted. I began making plans in earnest for the transition. I would rest. The next day, David received a phone call from his soon-to-be new boss, and David picked up on what they had, the way they had presented the job wasn't really the way the job was going to be. And then, a couple hours later, his old job boss called back. It seemed like his original company was up and running again and they were going to hire about a third of the workers back. And would my husband come back with a $10,000 raise? Well, he immediately accepted on the spot. I know that those circumstances weren't designed just for me, but in a way it felt like they were. It was one of those times when I realized that I needed to put my trust and my security in the hands of Almighty God. He would take care of me, whether we stayed and I got to go to seminary or whether we moved to another city. But He is good. And I thank, I thank Him so much that He is a God in whom we can rest.